Crocheting this dragonfly stitch is super easy and I'm going to show you how. make this shawl, you too will have the experience of dragonflies flitting through your fingers. To make this shawl, you're going to need four contrasting colors of fingering weight yarn. We used our pearlescent fingering, which glows and it shimmers just like a beautiful dragonfly wing. And if you want these exact colors, this one was made in our Forest Grove Hues kit. So go ahead and hop over to expressionfiberarts.com and download the pattern. While you're there, sign up for email updates so that you get weekly free knit and crochet patterns. Making these dragonflies is super easy, so I'm going to show you how. Here's the sample we'll be making. I have a small swatch with double crochets with the loops exposed on the front, which makes it easier to work our dragonflies into. And to help you to see where to place your hook, I have placed stitch markers. So for the half dragonfly stitch forward, you're going to drop down to the fourth row below, insert into the first stitch, then you move up a row in one, two, three, third stitch in for this one, move up another row in one, two, three, fourth stitch in for this one. So here's the half dragonfly stitch forward. So I've attached my second color and we're going to start with a chain one and we're basically working row 11. So I want you to think of this stitch as basically a three double crochet together. So start with a yarn over and insert into this first stitch here. And you're always going to work your dragonfly stitches clockwise. So go ahead and pull up. We want a nice long stitch there. Yarn over and pull through two. Now we're going to move to our next stitch marker, which is here. Yarn over and insert into that loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And give that one a nice little tug as well. You want nice tall stitches. Yarn over and pull through two. And we're going to do it for the third one. Yarn over and insert into that third loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop, give it a little tug. Yarn over, pull through two. When you have four loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. And that completes that stitch. So this completes our half dragonfly stitch forward. And if it feels like your loops here are pulling up a little bit, don't worry, when you block your shawl, those will even out. So we're going to continue on with our row. So go ahead and turn, and this counts as this first stitch, so we're not going to work into that. Jump over to that next stitch, and working into the back loops only, you're going to work seven single crochets. And this is just walking our way over. So one more, and seven. Now here's how you work the full dragonfly stitch. Now for the stitch markers for your dragonfly stitch. The dragonfly stitch is going to be centered over this next stitch. It basically counts as this next stitch that you haven't worked. So drop down do, 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 to this fourth row below and you're going to insert your first stitch marker there, just centered. Hop up to the next row, see that center stitch, and then hop over one, two, insert your next stitch marker, one, two, insert your next stitch marker. Then hop up, still staying centered, and hop over one, two, three for this stitch marker and one, two, three for this stitch marker. And once you get familiar with these stitches, you do not have to use the stitch markers. It's just helpful at first to see where to place your hook. So start with the yarn over and insert into that first stitch marker. Again, always working clockwise when you're making your dragonflies. Give that nice little tug, yarn over and pull through two. And this is basically like a double crochet five together. Yarn over and insert into the next loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Give that a nice little tug. Yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to drop down here. Yarn over and insert into our next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Give that one a nice, good tug. You want to pull that up. Yarn over, pull through two. Hop over to our next one. Yarn over, insert into the next loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and give it a nice good tug. Yarn over, pull through two. And then our final little stitch, yarn over, and insert into that final stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, give it a tug. Yarn over, pull through two. Then to finish off, you're just going to do a yarn over and pull through all of the stitches on your hook. Now we're going to work seven single crochets again, so flop to the back. You're going to skip this next stitch because our dragonfly stitch counts as that stitch. So skip that one and into the back loops only, you're going to work seven single crochets. Six, 
and seven. And here's how you work the half dragonfly stitch backward. Now for our half dragonfly stitch backward, it's basically symmetrical to the half dragonfly stitch forward. So you're gonna drop down, insert your stitch marker into the first stitch here on this fourth row below, hop up one row and jump over, one, two, three, so the third stitch in, and then hop up and one, two, three, fourth stitch in for this one, again, working clockwise. We're gonna start with a yarn over and insert your hook into that first stitch. And this one also is like a double crochet three together. So give that a nice tug, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook into the next loop, yarn over, pull up a loop and give that a nice good tug, yarn over, pull through two, now we're going to work into our third stitch, yarn over, insert into this next one, yarn over, pull up a nice long loop, yarn over, pull through two, then to finish off, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook. So you can see our adorable dragonfly stitch, and then the half dragonfly backwards and the half dragonfly forwards. And like I said, once you get familiar with the stitches, you don't have to use the stitch markers. Enjoy stitching this magical shawl, and I will see you in a week with another new pack. Bye-bye!